All right, guys, so um, I've had a bit of difficulty um, printing the lid out, especially the one without the wings for the jet boat, Sergei's jet boat. And I've been also revisiting the Prusa slicer. And I must admit, I'm finding this slicer still to be probably the best slicer I have seen. Cura is very good, but it does stall occasionally. It tends to have some niggles in there, tends to be slow to load. Feels like it's turning into a bit of bloatware, but that could be just me. Maybe it's the additional add-ons that I have. So, um, uh, the settings I've done for this to get it to be light enough and strong enough uh, is to use 5% rect rectangular uh, infill with a brim and um, five bottom layers, three top layers, and I've already printed out the non-finned version, um, which I struggled with really just to get sit flat. But this one you can see the recti rectilinear as they call it. It's quite a nice way to infill, yeah, because it's uniform rather than you know stars or something else. Uh, and the other thing is the brim, as you can see, does sit firmly on the build plate, which I've had a lot of problems with with the other one. It doesn't seem to want to sit properly on the build plate, and therefore you get warping and blah blah blah, all that usual stuff, right? Um, so anyway, that is now sliced and ready to go, and it's already hooked up into the Octoprint, because you can see I've got the G at the bottom. Uh, if you've not already set that up, it's pretty straightforward. Just go along to Printer Settings and set your Octoprint's IP address, put your API key in there, and good to go. Um, in terms of cooling, I have the fan switched off. Um, you know, it's only one fan needed for the head. That keeps the fluidness of the material, the build material, the filament going through quite nicely. Uh, in terms of speeds and fees and that kind of stuff, uh, let's come down to the speed. I'm going for 60 millimeters on perimeters, 55 on the infill. Um, or is the other one support? I'm not using support material. Uh, top solid infill, 15 millimeters per second. You want to slow that down. You don't want the head to go too fast. Travel, 120. I think these are defaults. And first lay speed, 25. Um, what else can I tell you? Layers and perimeters. So I'm using layer height of 0.25, which is pretty much recommended. But on smaller parts like the propeller, probably knock that down to 0.15 to get the really fine control that you need to get smooth propeller. Um, I haven't really touched too many of these. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, three top, let's say five bottom, uh, one wall, and all the usual kind of settings. So I'll send that off to the printer. And that will kick start in a little while. In fact, I think it's well on its way. Yep, that's good to go. So that's coming up to temperature. What else have I been doing? Well, oh yeah, okay. I think we already sent it once, doesn't he? Sending a second time. Um, with Fusion 360, um, I did create a bush for the drive shaft and I've ordered some drive shafts off Amazon. I'll show you where I got those from. Mm -hmm. They're in my locker waiting for collection. Got one of these nice Amazon lockers nearby. It's quite handy. You can just get it sent there. I've ordered one of these. Yeah, you can pick them up on Amazon. Uh, and some stainless steel drive shafts, three millimeter long. I think they're 160 long, sorry, and three millimeters wide. And so to house that straight through, I am experimenting with a TPU seal. And it's pretty straightforward to generate yourself a, cheap, a TPU seal. Uh, just create yourself a sketch, choose a plane, select your object, a circle, put it in the middle, drag it out. Five point 
eight millimeters for the outside diameter. Uh, zoom in there a little bit, use the panning to get you roughly, whoa, slow down. Um, panning to get that roughly where you want and just zoom in a little bit. So 5.1 of the outer diameter and then create another circle of three point oh, well let's have a think three point eight no i want a bit less than that don't i probably around three point two uh i think i did use three point eight you gotta be careful with tpu because you get do get a little bit of sh shrinkage in fact i did think i used three point eight um because definitely you get sh you, you will not come out this will shrink down to a bit smaller than than this size um, so I'll try, anyway, go for 3.8 and then um, you just need to come back to your solid or you can right click and choose extrude or you can come up here and say uh, extrude, doesn't really matter. And then uh, extrude that for the inner part of the boat for um, six millimeters, say. And then click on the home. So you can see your extrusion in your hole. And then we want to put a couple of fillets on. So we'll do a fillet on this edge. Hold the control key, that edge. And then uh, rock it over. And on that edge. And we want to point to fillet. And then put that back home again. There you go. You can also do a free orbit if you want to, or you can just use this to rock it around however you want. Um, so that obviously chamfer there or fill it is so we can put the drive shaft through. Doesn't need one on the inside because this, one, this one's going to go into the hull of the boat. And this will pop quite nicely into the uh, receptacle where the inbound or yeah the inbound to the boat where the motor is uh, where uh, that will that will access a seal and um, it uh, then you can export this to Prusa we just choose 3d print you select the object see it's now put that into an SDL file effectively and then you specify the application by clicking on this bit custom print utility Go and look under Program Files, Prusa so Software, uh, Prusa 3D. Click on that. That will register it to the application. You can also choose to use Cura if you want. I just prefer Prusa because it loads a lot faster um, than Cura does. And it, and it you know, as I say, it's a pretty good slicer once you get into it. Uh, so you simply say OK there and yeah, that should fire up another copy of Bruce's Slicer. Just wait for that to happen. Then you'll need a second bush um, for, so there's your bush good to go. Just work that around. Uh, you're going to need um, 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 layers and perimeters. You're going to need two perimeters. I don't think you really need any infill, so you can probably leave that off. Brim, yes, you're going to need a brim. Slice it, then take a look at it. So it should be thick like that. Yeah. Um, the only thing I find irritating about Prusa, but I haven't really figured out what it is, something to do with the lines. Um, the circle, you see it puts these in here? Uh, well, that seems to be the norm with Prusa Slicer. Cura doesn't seem to do that, seem to fill in the holes. Now there may be a setting that I need to know about in Prusa that does that, but I know Cura does have an ability to fill in what they call these holes, because you do see these actually get printed out. Not that it's a big deal, because it f tends to fuse quite closely together anyway. Uh, so that's that bush done. Uh, so you probably need to create yourself a second bush, well you definitely do, for the um, for the outer part that sits on the out part of the hole as it goes through the tunnel. So same deal basically, select yourself a pane, uh, get yourself a, a, 
a circle, drag it out, same gonna be the same diameter, or sorry, five point eight wasn't it? Uh that'll typically sit in the uh snugly. Let's just uh, move that around again. Okay, and another one. Again three point eight. And back to solid to extrude, I'll extrude that, and it's going to be 10 millimeters. This one, come back to home, and the same deal. Add yourself a fillet to that, to that, um, and rock it over, and hold your control key. That, oh, sorry, that. And it's 0.2, hopefully I got that right. Click home. Yeah, we did. So that's your second one for the outer um, part of the shaft. TPU, uh, it's a little bit tricky with TPU. So, because it is a softer filament, right? So you have to go and set your speed to be slower um, otherwise it will come out stringy and it won't work so you need to set that down your, your perimeters 45 50 maximum I would say um, and any other yeah your top solid probably I'll leave that so I'll leave these I haven't got infill set, so that one I was the one I would set to about 45 for the perimeters. Uh, so it slows the whole thing down. I mean, I haven't got any infill, so that's not going to play a role. But again, I would probably have those equal. Um, yeah, I think that's the the main thing in terms of the bill plate temperature pretty much the same material temperature um let me see let's go back to filaments and print settings and uh, da, 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 da. i le i typically have those roughly about 220 and 65 on the bill plate so yeah yeah so that's what I would recommend. And then those slot in quite nicely. And I've put another video up on um, the wonderful YouTube. Uh, I think it's sat under um, my main YouTube channel, which is TV Alt. This is way back. I couldn't think of a decent name, so I just gave it TV Alt. And uh, I did put a video up here. It's not under the live section, but it's under the um, uploaded section. Uh, mods, I think I did. Yes, that's it. I think it's one of these anyway. But you'll find there is a mod section where I talk about these bushes. All right. Anyway, good luck with that. Um, that's all for now. I'm just having a bit of a lunch break. I'll talk to you later. Bye.